Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> so y'all like this um this dress. I got actually got this dress from Rainbow. Rainbow has a wonderful um sale. So if you can get down there now, I got this for three dollars. They got some cute stuff, cute tops, pants, you know, sweats, everything. They got a nice little sale, but what I wanted to uh come on here and say is that I already watched Nick Avocado's video and I watched Stephanie Sue's videos or whatever, whatever she had to say. And I still feel the same way. Like, you don't have to agree with me and I don't have to agree with you. You, you can't make somebody agree with um, your beliefs or whatever. I'm not going to go back and watch the video no more because I already seen the video. And I'm putting my two cents in what I feel about it. You got a lot of people that side with Stephanie. And you have a lot of people that side with Nick. Nick or whatever. But that's just the way that I feel about the certain situation. So with that being said. Um, <clears throat> I actually wanted to talk about this story. And um, the guy's name was Bryce Goodle, and he was going to go off to Virginia Tech on a full-ride scholarship. He was a wide receiver, and he was doing real good. He was at the top of his class. You know, he was doing interviews and stuff like that. Now, um, they were saying that his mom was having a hard time uh with her kids and they were homeless they were living out of their car and in motels and stuff like that so i had actually um watched her video it was really emotional if um if you have real soft feelings i wouldn't advise you to watch that video because it was like it had me on the edge of tears it was really sad um how she said that she asked them to go to the car and get a blanket and he never came back. So she had heard on the news that somebody had got hit by a train. And then she found out that it was um, her son. But like I was telling people before, <clears throat> you know, they should do a full investigation to make sure that they got it right. Because like we already know that when <clears throat> a lot of black people get killed, the first thing they say, <clears throat> excuse me, is that we committed suicide because um, young black men have the highest percentage of suicide rates. So anytime we, we pass away, if it's not from getting shot by the cops, they always, always say it was a suicide. But I definitely think they need to do a little bit more investigation just to make sure that that's what it was because <clears throat> that's kind of crazy. I mean, he had all that going for him, guys. He, he was getting ready to go to college on a full ride. And I don't know, maybe he just thought, that he didn't want to see his mom suffer or whatever. And maybe he thought that, you know, he wasn't going to make it. Some people have all those scholarships and stuff like that. And they still think they're not going to make it. But, um, that was a crazy situation. Like, you hear about them stories a lot. But this one just really took the cake because, I don't know, he did, he just, it just seems like, all the black men that's doing so good and they doing so well, it's like something happens to them. And we got to start figuring out what's going on. Why is it that every time a young black guy gets successful and he about to, you know, go off to college and do great things, you know, because most of them people, they're, they're going to be advocates for the black community. Why are they getting killed off? Why? Why is this happening? We had to start questioning why. Was he murdered? 
Did somebody push him? Did he go out in the car and get a blanket and somebody you knew him from, you know, TV and stuff and maybe they thought he had a whole bunch of money and maybe they took him down there trying to get money from him and threw him in front of the train. We don't know. We really do not know. Now, his mom said that um, he did commit suicide, but if if I was her, if it was me, I would want um, some more investigation done. That's why I'm telling you, it, it has to be more cameras around. Like, I think that a lot of businesses and stuff, they should be required to have cameras. That should be a law. You, If you're going to start a business, you are required to have you should be required to have cameras everywhere and with that we we can start solving more of these um crimes and stuff but it seems like like you got a lot of things that happen where people have been shot on facebook live and they still never found them the people like that's like crazy but and that's all I had to say. I just wanted to mumble. But I will be back. My um, camera is charging right now. I'm probably going to have to get a new battery. Because I don't know why it goes it goes dead just like that. So I'm going to invest in getting um, a better battery for my camera. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys later. Yes, I will. And I'll be back to finish off that video. Bye-bye. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe my channel. And if you haven't yet, get down to Rainbow. Let me show you the whole piece. And it like has a slick... It like has a slick going down. Cute. Get to Rainbow. Because I, I got like... um. I said I got like four tops in this dress. Get to Rainbow. They got a nice little sale. I just got me a new wig. From Fashion Avenue in Virginia. So if you ever come in Virginia, Norfolk, and you're looking for a nice little spot for a wig, go to Fashion Avenue. They got some good wigs. Okay. Bye. I love you guys. <laughs> love you.